Good afternoon. As suggested by Dr. Henry Jenkins, the USC professor, I'm turning to YouTube to share what I've learned about productivity and collaboration tools. Just as skateboards, music artists, and political commentators have used it to share their interests. So how can wikis and other productivity tools be used to revolutionize the classroom? According to Kyle Pace, there are many collaboration and productivity tools that teachers and students can use to keep teachers and students inspired, inventive, and organized. Those tools include Google Search, Google Sites, Google Drive, and YouTube. Common Sense Education concurs that Google Drive is one of the top tools and highlights numerous additional tools to facilitate student collaboration. VoiceThread allows students to collaborate digitally using voice or image files, while Padlet offers collaboration through interactive bulletin boards. When used in classrooms, these tools offer unlimited possibilities for having students collaborate with each other and with us, the teachers, as they investigate classroom-based but also community-based and global issues. Participatory cultures, as explained by Dr. Henry Jenkins, describes, quote, a world where everyone participates, where we take media in our own hands, where we have the capacity to produce media to share media. This participatory culture dates back to the 19th century when teenagers took to printing presses to send ideas all over the country, which has paved the way for subsequent movements involving media such as amateur and ham radio and the punk rock movement. Jenkins promotes his viewers, prompts his viewers, to consider how we can move students from participating in interest-driven culture to, to participating in our own political and civic structure, citing the example of the Harry Potter Alliance, which fights for basic human rights in the United States and all over the world. How might students, how might students, how might student to student and student to teacher interactions change? According to Jenkins, Teachers can cultivate students' movements in online communities and participatory cultures to change the world. The students work with each other on their interests and or civic-based passions. Students no longer sit in rows in a classroom, essentially ignoring each other. With these tools, students can become collaborators of content, thinking critically about information and topics that capitalize on, the passion, on their passion for the betterment of society. Interactions between teachers and students also can become more collaborative. Teachers will use these tools necessary to set the students off completely on their own, but to, sorry, teachers will use these tools to not necessarily set the students off completely on their own, but to quote Jenkins, to help them develop in higher levels to watch their back. As teachers, we can teach students the digital literacy skills, provided, provide them with the collaboration and productivity tools, and guide them in their path. What are some benefits for students and what are some benefits from teachers? One of the most significant benefits of productivity and collaboration tools for students include the development of a sense of empowerment. Jenkins cited the example of students making changes in the Moby Dick Wikipedia site. Wikis are collaborative in nature and facilitate community building within a course, according to Vanderbilt Center for Teaching. These students saw inaccuracies, identified the appropriate changes, and took the necessary steps to have the information changed. Critical literacy skills are another benefit for students. To use the Moby Dick example, these students had to analyze and evaluate the existing information, collaborate with their classmates in doing so, and then develop a logical argument that included citation of evidence. For teachers, Jenkins indicates that these tools give teachers the validation they need to use new media literacies in their classroom. What are some concerns or challenges that might, be, that might need to be addressed? Research related to wikis has shown that some students are hesitant to learn new technologies. However, according to Vanderbilt Center for Teaching, once students overcome this hesitation, students view wikis as an excellent collaboration tool. In higher education, some students' perceptions of group work are not favorable, not favorable, and this may transfer to the use of wikis and other collaboration tools. Recommendations include teachers making sure they facilitate discussion with the use of these tools and that they scaffold the task with appropriate level of difficulty. As you can see, effective use of collaboration and productivity tools by educators can change the landscape in a positive way for our students and for perhaps our society.